What we're going to go over is a review of the coordinate plane. Now with inequalities, you have one number line. With a coordinate plane, we have two number lines. We've got our horizontal line, which is called the x-axis, but we also have a vertical number line, which is called the y-axis. When you create these two number lines, you create four quadrants, and they name these quadrants using Roman numerals. This is your first quadrant, this is your second quadrant, this is your third, and this is your fourth. Many times a coordinate plane will look like this. The x-axis will already be labeled for you. The horizontal line, the vertical axis, or the y-axis will already be labeled for you. Sometimes they will put numbers on this graph. Sometimes they won't. But what we need to go over is how to graph points on this graph. So that's what we're about to go over next. How to graph these points. Now you're always going to start in the middle. And that middle is always called the origin. That's where you always start when you go to graph something. So if I'm given this graph right here, I'm always going to start right here and then figure out where to go to put this point. But I'm always going to start right here in the middle at the origin. They are going to give you two numbers. Those two numbers are going to be surrounded by parentheses and have a comma in between it. Like this one right here. This one right here, I've got parentheses, I've got a comma in between two numbers. This first one will always be my x coordinate, the second one will always be my y coordinate. I'm going to use both of these numbers to plot a point on this graph right here. So let's do that. Remember, the first number is always called the x coordinate. You're going to use it first. If that number is positive, you're going to move forward from the origin. If that number is negative, you're going to move backwards from the origin. Then you're going to use the second number. The second number is the y coordinate. If that number, that second number, is positive, you're going to go up. If that second number is negative, you're going to go down. You're going to use both of these numbers and then put a point. So let's look at some of these examples we have here. So we're going to start with this point right here. We're going to graph this point on this coordinate plane. I'm going to use this number first, and I'm going to start in the middle. Because this 1 is positive, I'm going to move over how many it tells me. Move over 1. And then I'm going to use the second number. The second number is positive. That means I'm going to go up that many. 1, 2. That's me plotting that first point right there. Let's try the second one. I start at the origin. I look at my first number. It's positive. Positive 1, that means I go over 1. But the second number is negative. That means I need to go down that many. 1, 2. There is my second point right there. So use the first number and then the second number. Then plot your point. Let's try the next one. I always start right here in the middle. Look at my first number. My first number is negative. That means I go back one. Second number is positive. That means I go up one, two. There is my third point right there. Next example. I start right here at the origin. I look at my first number. My first number is negative. That means I go back one. Second number is also negative. That number tells me to go up or down. I'm going to go down to one, two. There is my fourth point. So the first number tells me to go forward or backwards. Second number tells me to go up or down. Next example. Start right here at the very beginning in the origin. Look at this first number. It doesn't tell me to go over any, so I don't move yet. I go to my second number. 
My second number tells me to go up or down. It's positive, I go up. One, two, three. There's my next point. Let's look at the next one. The next one, I start right here. First number tells me to go forward or backwards. Telling me to go backwards three. One, two, three. The second number tells me to go up or down. It's a zero, that means I don't go up and I don't go down. I put that next point right there. Next, we're gonna write down the coordinates for some of the points that we're given here. Let's just start with U. To write down the coordinates for this point, again, I start at the origin. The first number I'm gonna write down is how many I have to move across. And since I have to move backwards, it's going to be negative four. One, two, three, four. So I go ahead and write down negative four as my x coordinate. From where I left off of my x coordinate, then I need to count how many I go up or down. Since I go up, I want to have this number is going to be positive. One, two. I write that y coordinate down, then I make sure I close my parentheses. Make sure I have parentheses and a comma in between it. This denotes that it's a point. That's the coordinates for u. Let's figure out the coordinates for w. Start here in the origin. I need to go across first, one, and then I go up one. That's the coordinates for W. We're going to write down the coordinates for V. Start here at the origin. I got to go across first, one, two, three, four, five. Five is my first number. And then my next number is going to tell me how many I go up or down to get to that point. I don't have to go up and I don't have to go down. So that next number is going to be zero. I'm gonna write down the coordinates for x. Start here at the origin. I need to go in this direction to get to x. I'm gonna go one, two. Two is going to be my x coordinate. Then I need to go down. One, two, three. Since I went down, that's negative three. That's coordinates for x. The next thing we need to go over is when you get decimals and you have to graph these decimals. Students are used to graphing points that look like this. So let's graph this point. Start here at the origin. I need to go over three. That's what that first number tells me since it's positive. One, two, three. Then the next number tells me that I need to go down since it's negative. Five. One, two, three, four, five. There's that point right there. But sometimes they're going to give you decimals. For these, it's going to be easy because it's 0.5. That's halfway in between 0 and 1. It's not a full, so it's halfway, this 0.5. So instead of going all the way over to 1, because this first number tells me to go across since it's positive, I'm only going to go halfway. From this point, I'm going to use my y coordinate. It tells me to go up three, one, two, three, and then halfway, 3.5. There's where that point is right there. So when they give you decimals, especially these 0.5, it's halfway. This 0.5 is halfway in between zero and one. Then this next number tells me to go up three, one, two, three, and then a half to get those points.